thing. And because I, I remember th- just thinking about it while I was watching your film, thinking like, like what would, what is the barrier between us getting more women to have these reflections before they have children? Because you even said it, or I can't, can't believe someone said it in your film that there's more thought that goes into not having children than having children, which is like you think it would be the other way around. So maybe to instead of that other question I asked, what do you think is is stopping more people from being able to reflect on this, um, you know, self-awarely to know if they want to make that leap? I I think that the you have to start by acknowledging that we live in a culture that is um, deeply, deeply pronatalist. And what I mean by that word is that there is constant um, pressure, uh, encouragement, coercion <laughs> uh, to have children, that we are raised understanding that the normal thing to do is to have children. And what gives women value in the world is to have children. And the greatest joy and love they will ever experience is to have children. Um, And people who feel like maybe that's not the life they want to live are pushed in many ways outside of quote unquote normal society. So like I said, when I grew up, I didn't know anyone who didn't have children except for um, a handful of couples that people felt really sorry for. It was, we never discussed why they might not have children. Did they want kids? And, you know, there were issues around infertility or one of the you know, many reasons people cannot have children when they want to. Or did they genuinely just feel happy and content with their life as it was and um, didn't feel like they wanted or needed to expand their family beyond the two of them? Um, so we don't see it. Not only do we not see it, but... When we do see it, it's shown as something really negative. Um, pop culture is full of stereotypes of, you know, bitter, bitchy, childless women or desperate, neurotic, childless women. Um, it's, it's really hard to find role models in popular culture that um, are very clear about the fact that they're not interested in having children who are... Um, celebrated beloved main characters <laughs> there there's just very few of them and if that happens um some writer's room ends up knocking them up anyway uh because they they fully believe that that is really the happy ending they should have and big bang theory i don't know if anyone watches that show but big bang theory is um, a great example of two very outspoken main characters who did not want children and by the time the series ended um yeah. one had one had more than one child at that point, and the other discovered she was pregnant. And there was no conversation about that. She was pregnant and was like, oh, well, I'm pregnant. After an entire season of her telling her partner that she did not want to have, to have children, <laughs> like the whole, the whole season was about that. So I guess what I'm saying is if you don't see something, you don't, it's much harder to imagine that it's possible. And we grow up in a world which is um, very, very um, pronatalist and very much reflects those ideas in our society. And that comes from our families. It comes from our culture. It comes from our uh, religious traditions. It comes from cultural traditions. It comes from government policy all the way up and down the line. Um, in the film, I do spend a lot of time showing specific examples of this, um, why you never or rarely will see a pregnancy test ad where someone is happy not to be pregnant. I defy you <laughs> to find right. more than like one ad where somebody is looking, it's all very classic, the nice music is playing, someone sitting on their beautiful couch waiting for the pregnancy test result to come through. Right. And you never see <laughs> negative. Oh, I'm so happy. It's negative. They, and, they you high know, five they, their partner. They high five. They hug. They call their you know mother and go, "Mom, I'm not pregnant." <laughs> Isn't that great news? You know, and and that's that's 
it doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. And you have to ask yourself why. Why when I believe that many, many people take pregnancy tests to determine that they are not pregnant, we never see that reflected in these commercials. They are always, always everybody happy and crying um, because they got a positive result on their test instead of just going, whew, that was a close call. So. Right. <laughs> that's just one example but well, when you start looking for it it's everywhere no i think you're totally right like even with the with the handful of emails you and i exchanged and we were talking about that we're both equal marvel fans and i thought about that movie that you, you haven't seen yet the uh doctor strange and the multiverse movie where the most one of the most powerful characters in the marvel universe is scarlet witch and that entire movie is her trying to jump through different dimensions in the multiverse so she can steal her children from another version of herself. Like, I didn't even really think about the plot line so much until our conversation. And I was like, that is really messed up that, that, that this is what the most, one of the most powerful Marvel characters is what they're making her do that, that she will try to ruin the universe because she hasn't had children. Like it is everywhere in media and, like you said, until you kind of enter the matrix or take off these <laughs> pronatalist yeah. glasses, you really can't see how insidious it is. It's, it's really insidious. And, and that's not to say that there aren't people, many people who really want children mm -hmm. very much. And it is um, a, a real, really sad thing that, that they're not able to have them um, or that they have to go through all sorts of, intense fertility um, programs to conceive. Um, this is a thing, people, there are people who really very much want children and it, it is tragic for them that, that that's not happening. I guess what I'm saying is that's not everyone, <laughs> you know? There's this generalization and I think sometimes it's, you know, when we look at what's being sold to us and how things are being reflected back to us, how we see ourselves in the world. Um, it's not just who we want to be, but it's how um, larger powers want us to be. So we're being shown role models that espouse a certain set of values. Um, we're, being, we're being told that this is who you should be, this is who you want to be, this is what's normal, when in fact, following like one only one life path is not is not healthy it's not the way to to live a full life being set on one path and not being able to even consider whether there might be another path that would make us happier or would would make the world a better place for that matter so um i'm i'm uh, a big uh booster of people who who really want children and have thought about it and mm -hmm. Um, know what they're in for, and many <laughs> friends and family are in that um, uh, group. But I really think that we need to be able to see more kinds of lives and more kinds of people and be given a chance to sit for